Hi everyone, uh, so it's Ryan here, um, back for another little video for you all. And we've been doing loads of different videos about lots of different things. Uh, what we've noticed, however, is there's been lots of requests for a video with one of the members of our third team, um, who definitely is a firm favourite amongst many. So I thought today would be a perfect time to, to do this for you. And of course, if you haven't guessed already, I am talking about our beautiful um, Cenarius vulture or Eurasian black vulture uh, called Dolores. Um, if you've been to the Trust, I know you know Dolores really well. Um, she is a very, very um, beautiful bird, uh, very fond member of the bird team for all of the staff that work here as well. And she's a bird that I always, always try and make a little bit of the day to come and spend a bit of time with her. Um, why is she such a firm favourite for, for all our visitors? Well, she's got bags of character, uh, loads of personality as well. And hopefully you'll be able to see us a little bit. Doris is um, one of our disabled uh, members of the team. Um, she came to live with us at quite a young age. Uh, she's, actually a, she's actually just over 30 years old now. Um, she had lots of problems when she came. She actually had a, a metabolic disorder um, when she first arrived and it was probably because of a very poor diet before she came to live with us. Uh, she came from, from Russia. Um, so uh, Ashley, um, our vet, John Chitty, uh, Campbell, um, had lots and lots to do with her as a young bird and it was their expertise really that managed to pull her through. Um, and she's, you know, a really, Half healthy, fit bird now. Um, you can see that she does obviously show the signs of the metabolic disorder um, in her early age. You can see her, her toes are, uh, her talons I should say rather, a, a little bit curled up um, and it's in her wings as well. But this has, you know, sh she's an, an immensely important bird to us and thankfully she managed to, to pull through in her early days. Um, she did have so much uh, interact interaction with, with the staff going back all those years now that she did become very, very comfortable being up nice and close and personal with us. So obviously it was long before my time, but I've been working with Dolores now for uh, 11 years and we become quite close and you know we can she can see that she's very comfortable being up near me. Um, during the Vulture restaurant feeds um, that we always kick off our day with, um, Dolores will always steal the show every single time so whilst I'm doing my introduction and trying to talk to everyone a little bit about uh, our, our aims if you like our, our pledge for helping the vultures and and why we love them so much sometimes I find not a lot of people are actually really listening to me thank you very much I find sometimes a lot of people aren't really listening to me because more often than not uh, Dolores here has run off with the food um, bucket. Um, she is being mischievous, like she gave me a little love bite just then. She likes to do that quite a lot. She is building nests, all sorts of different things she does. Um, and that's uh, j just her. Um, and as I said, she always, always likes to steal the show. Um, one thing that I do want to try and show you with her, I like to show you, um, the audience when I'm doing the Vulture Restaurant feed just how much interaction that I do have with her and I'll see if I can get her to do it now. So, and I, I always say this as well, um, if you come to the enclosure, try and do it by yourself throughout the day and Dolores is normally sat at the front, she likes to sit um, up at the front of the enclosure so she can see what's going on and if you do this to her if you twist your head upside down there you go she will normally do it back to you let's see if she does it again you want to do it again there you go you see that so she twists her head upside down if you're really lucky as well sometimes she brings her display feathers up on on her on her chest here um, and I always, I think it's it's just a way that she's communicating with us and she's greeting, if you like, if she's saying hello, um, which I, I think is really, really sweet. Um, Eurasian black vultures are uh, a really large uh, species of vulture, as you can clearly see. Uh, she's one of three 
um, cenarius vultures, which is their other name that they go by. Um, sometimes they're called monk vultures because of their the hairstyle which they have on the back of their head. Uh, Dolores, thank you. There you go. Uh, can I have it back, please? You go. Dolores, that's actually got her food in. I'm going to give her her dinner. Thank you. I'm actually going to give her her dinner at the end of, of the video. Um, I don't want to do it at the start. So uh, the three um, individual scenarius vultures we, we have on site, uh, of course, we have Dolores here. Um, the other pair we have are actually a, a breeding pair and a really important pair of birds here. Uh, their names are Four and Aldara, and they live at the top end of, of the park. They're actually um, part of the uh, breeding program for Cenarius vultures. As, a, as, the, uh, as an IASA member, um, we work with, uh, closely on the Endangered uh, European Species Program, um, and those two birds are part of that. Um, and I know Jane, um, uh, who works here, has a, has a lot to do with trying to coordinate and um, trying to help out the uh, stud book um, coordinator, um, trying to uh, keep all the records up to date with our, what our pair of scenarius vultures are doing. So they're a really important pair. Um, Dolores doesn't live up with them. Uh, she lives down with our white-backed vultures, our, our breeding uh, group of white-backed vultures. Um, and she gets on really well as, as, as part of the team. So I defy absolutely anyone to call Dolores ugly um, or, any, or any vulture ugly, which is obviously one of the big things we try and get across is that vultures aren't these horrid, nasty animals. Uh, I think she's just so important for that. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Um, of course, the, the Trust does so much work with the conservation of birds of prey every single day. And um, you've probably heard it a lot lately, but um, we can't stop what we're doing during this horrid time that we're all going through. So, um, and that includes conservation as well. It's, it's got to carry on. So um, the Trust has been working really hard to uh, keep everything moving, keep everything going. And over the last few weeks, I've been trying to uh, think about what, what can I do personally to try and um, aid uh, the conservation work to continue so so incredibly uh, for all of these different birds that we have here. So I've set myself a challenge, um, which is kind of hoping you guys might be able to try and support me a little bit as well. Thank you, Dolores. Um, might be trying to support me a little bit as well. Uh, one of my personal uh, challenges this year, one of my New Year's re resolutions as such, was to complete a half marathon. Uh, before the end of the year, I was due to be taking part in an organised half marathon uh, event, which has all been cancelled now. Um, but I still obviously wanted to do it, so I thought, <laughs> let's again, you're stealing the show. Okay, you can take it. <laughs> again, I tried to think, um, well, what shall I do? I, and I decided that I'm going to do the half marathon here on site. Um, at the Trust. I'm going to do this uh, around our wildflower meadow, around Wedge's wildflower meadow. Uh, so we've worked out, myself and Ben, who's going to be helping me with the challenge, he's going to be my support team. Um, it is 45 laps around our meadow. Um, and our meadow is quite large. We have a seven acre wildflower meadow. It's going to be quite a challenge. If you would like to support me, um, I'm not actually going to set a target for this because we have been so overwhelmed with your generosity um, at, for helping us during, during the COVID-19 uh, shutdown. Um, I'm not going to set a target. If you want to help me out, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, I just want to see how it goes and I want this to be my little way of trying to help out a little bit more. So there is a, a little link to this uh, attached to this video. If, if you feel like you can help out, anything would be amazing. Anyway, final thing. Um, one more little head, tod, uh, little head nod with Dolores. There we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed her. I know you've all been asking her about her. She's doing absolutely amazing. She's waiting and ready to greet you all back when we can.